When you think of Damon Dash, you know, the hip-hop entrepreneur, you think about music, you think about clothes. I think about Jay-Z, too. These guys work together, right? They had some sort of... A, or is it a rivalry, or is it a feud, Julie Chang? It was a fallout. A fallout. Oh, a fallout, yeah. Right, but those names are linked. Yes, and, you know, it's a touchy subject, but I went there. You did? Good for you. I'm brave like that. I asked the tough questions. Mm -hmm. All right, Damon Dash is certainly one of the most notable names in the hip-hop community, but his fame didn't come without some dramatic ups and downs. Now he's hoping to move past all that, perhaps with a blank canvas. Here's a look inside the Dash Gallery. From representing music artists such as Currency, to the Creative Control TV Network, to Vodka, to even a watch label, hip-hop impresario Damon Dash rocks to his own beat. Now his empire is extending its stroke to fine art. Why a gallery? I mean, I love art, you know, and a lot of things happen in this building, and this is just a reflection of it. Now, looking around, I would say a lot of these pieces are very urban. Mm -hmm. I think it's really reflected of you. Absolutely. You grew up in Harlem. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that's a fair statement? Yeah, mm -hmm, absolutely. Again, you know, I think, like, when you come from a, some, some degree of an extreme circumstance, you get the flavor first. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it feels like the struggle um, translates on every level from fashion to music. To art. Art at the Dash Gallery in Tribeca, which opened just a few months ago, includes three dimensional animal pieces, some wearable. It's a little Bjork esque. What's the most expensive piece of art that you own? Um, I mean, I can't really put any value on my art. You know, it's like priceless to me because uh, it makes me feel so good. I want a ballpark figure. Uh, I don't remember. I haven't had money in so long. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I probably can't even fathom it now. kind of half joke that you're broke. I can't tell if you're serious or not. Because I've heard everything from you're worth $50 million to... Yeah, I heard that too. Your, you're having trouble, you know, paying for your homes. Like, I mean, what's yeah, going on? I'm a businessman, you know? Okay. So it is what it is. We're in a recession. And whoever, to me, isn't going through any financial problem is cheating. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the economy cracked. <laughs> While his father of four wouldn't reveal details about his divorce from fashion designer Rachel Roy, he did graze past a sore subject from years ago, his fallout with Jay-Z. Definitely no warm fuzziness. <laughs> well, you know, we did Rockefeller, you know. Mm -hmm. we, did, we made history. I'm, not, I'm never going to be mad at Jay. You know what I mean? Rockefeller's a big thing. Everything that I've done is to get to exactly where I'm at now, to be completely independent, you know, to be relevant in fashion with Rachel Roy, mm -hmm. being, making really good music like Black Rock and Currency, and having art galleries, and not having a boss. For the Dash Gallery Hours, meet us online, myfoxny.com, and just when you think five or more businesses are enough, Damon is working on a new clothing line called CEO. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Jules. But he doesn't get to walk in the parade today. No. He's not a baller no, like that. No, but <laughs> I don't know where he's putting me yet. He's he's threatening behind the horses. We're all... <laughs> Here's yep. Rosanna today. I'm with him! I'm with him! Well, she's been... In, she's Kiss been, me, because I'm Irish with him. <laughs> she's been a little high-maintenance on this day. Uh, just a visit, Tad.